Well guys, I am listing the Toyota Supra for sale today. I know that may come as a shock. Uh, it's not that I don't like the car at all. It's because the used market right now is literally going crazy for cars. And looking at the retail values of the 890 Toyota Supras, particularly a 2020 with less than 10,000 miles, MSRP, they're going for around $55,000. I bought this car for 56. So my theory is if I can list this and sell it for pretty much what I paid, I can move on to another car and kind of have no skin in the game in this car. So we are making it to Champion Car Company and I'm going to get this thing listed. All right guys, we are at the dealership and the Supra is in the spot. Let's get it shot. All right, so photo shoot is done on the Supra. As you can see, it looks pretty good on camera. I'm sure all the pictures are gonna look super nice, but we are selling it the way it sits right now. I'll go over pricing once we do the actual listing. But this is gonna be a heck of a good deal, especially with around $11,000 worth of modifications. Of course, the car had a full paint correction, ceramic coating, PPF on most of the car as well when I first bought it. So that stuff, of course, is going with the car no matter what. And then window film as well, full bolt-ons tuned. So it's got a lot of goodies on the car. But we'll go over that in just a second. Interior, perfect condition. You know, I never had an issue with the car. The actual condition always stayed perfect. You know, I keep my cars in tip top shape. Two oil changes under its belt as well, each at 4,500 miles. But yeah, it is a crazy used market right now. You guys saw the video I made on the GTR, but I love the Nissan GTR so much. I just can't sell it. The Super, on the other hand, who never had that fall in love kind of car. It's a fantastic car, don't get me wrong, but I think this is a good time to get my money out of the car and place an order for the new Z. So that is gonna be my plan. If I can get this thing sold within a month or so, I'm gonna go to the Nissan dealership and place a deposit and buy the brand new 400Z, which is what it should be called. Of course, spec that with a manual transmission. And I think that'd just be a good way to go for the next car. I've almost owned this now for two years and there's really not much left to do with it as far as content goes. This is my full-time job doing YouTube. So I need my car to have consistent content and aside from doing an upgraded turbo, there's really nothing left to do for the car as far as normal people modifications. I'm not spending 30 grand on wide bodying it. That's just a ripoff, and nobody's doing that. So I wanna have a realistic build and I think now is the best time to unload this car and move on to the Z. All right, guys, the Supra is officially listed for sale. I just wrapped up the listing here at Champion Car Company. And the craziest thing is if you look at the values right here, look at average retail, 56.6. My MSRP was 56.3. And then even JD Power retail, $60,000. And then wholesale is looking in the low $50,000 range. So literally trade in on this car is in that low 50K range. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty firm on the price that I'm asking with all the mods, all the stock parts as well. And if anyone wants to discount it at all, we'll basically just take parts off. If they want a thousand bucks off, you know, I'll put the stock wheels on or swap out exhaust, something like that. If they want a bone stock, you know, average price is around 54, 55 grand from what we're seeing going out there for sale. So that's kind of where I am on pricing. That's kind of the market. So I got to go with the market. Uh, so why am I selling it? I already talked about those Z and things like that. I'm not going to be sad if I don't sell the car. I'm kind of just selling it because we'll see what happens. It's a crazy market. So I might as well take advantage of the high prices and see what happens. From what I've seen, the new Z is going to be unveiled mid August. So once that's unveiled, I can talk to some Nissan dealers and hopefully get in an order and see what happens with that car. So far, they don't really know anything about it. So I can't really get too much information aside from seeing the Proto Z online and just on Nissan's website. Not too much information on that car yet. All right guys, so the Supra is officially listed for sale here at Champion Car Company. I'll have the listing down below and if you guys want to take a look at it, if you're actually interested in buying it, let me know of course, so contact them and they will hook it up. The cool thing is because it books out so well, you can finance this entire car even the way it sits with modifications and there's warranties of course and shipping across the world quite honestly. 
So really good way to sell a car. I've worked with Champion. I actually worked here a few years ago. I worked here for three years and I was the marketing inventory manager over here. And uh, they've helped us sell and buy many of our cars. My brother's R8, they helped him buy it and get it here. He sold the Jeep through them. Uh, the GTR, they helped me ship here four years ago. So uh, Supra, let's see what happens with it for sale. Crazy market right now for used vehicles. If any of you do have a cool car that you're looking to sell, you can get top dollar right now. And honestly, with the Supra, I feel like they might actually hold some value looking forward. I've seen a lot of speculation about that. And I think overall, this car has really been proven to be a fantastic car. The reason, again, why I would choose to sell it now is just to get my money out of it, kind of just take a step back. And then I think getting into the Z for me personally would be a great way to go for the extra content. Like I said, there's nothing left to do with this car, realistically thinking. So the Z completely starting over and I get the manual transmission, which I do miss a little bit. The ZF8 speed, of course, is a crazy fast automatic transmission. And I think the B58 is gonna be proven to be a better engine than whatever the Z is gonna have. So yes, I know this car is gonna be faster, but honestly, I have the GTR for the fast speed. I don't need my car to be crazy fast. And with the manual, it can be a little bit slower. So I'm totally cool with switching things up and I've had some daydreams about the Z in some crazy colors and I think it would look epic in like a dark red or a dark blue. So heading home from the dealership now, so kind of crazy to be listing the Supra this soon, but because of the market, it just makes a lot of sense to get out of this car and then get into another car, especially for content. I think the new Z is gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, I still get you guys commenting about my Nismo 370Z that I owned before I bought the GTR. So I think, honestly, I have a much bigger following of Z and GTR fans than the Supra. The Supra has been great, and of course, a ton of you have been following along with the build on this car, but honestly, the Z always did have a little bit of a special part in my heart. The Subaru was always a favorite car of mine just because of the Fast and Furious days, but something about the Skyline and GTR, those really got to me. Of course, I love my GTR. And the Z will always remind me of, that's how I got into the GTR in the first place, building credit with my two 370s to get into the GTR. So there is definitely a soft spot for that car. And the new Z, I really think is gonna have everything I really want in a car, a manual transmission especially. That is the one thing Toyota really should have done. Not to say the ZF8 speed isn't a fantastic transmission because it's one of the best automatics, but personally, I love the old school. I love manuals. I love the dual clutch transmissions. The GTR has the old school DCT and I love the character. So I'm gonna love, of course, the character with a stick shift. But yeah, comment below, what do you guys think? Uh, we'll see what happens. It, like I said, if it doesn't sell, I'm not gonna be sad, I don't really care. I'm um, just testing out the market because I might as well, given the market's so high right now. So we'll see what happens, we'll go from there. Check out Champion Car Company. I'll have the listing linked down below. It should be live by the time I get home tonight. So it'll definitely be live by the time this video's up. But I think that is then it with the Toyota Supra. Um, of course, I'll still do videos on it and still play with it as usual. I won't you know, hold my breath in case it doesn't sell. But yeah, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content to come. And if you're a Z fan, comment below what spec should I go for once I'm able to order the new Z. I'll see you guys in the next video.